This video Mel tutorial shows how to create the opening scene in Star Wars. First we'll start with the opening line. We add a text caption. Enter or paste the text. Select all. Adjust the color. Increase the size. Reduce the play time to about 4 seconds. Now we need to center the text in the screen. To do that we'll add a position effect. Click the effect button. Click the add effect button. Select the position effect. Adjust the position so the text looks roughly in the center. Now we need to fade the text in and out. We'll use the fade graph on the effect menu for that. We'll select the preset for a 1 second fade in and out. Now we need to add the Star Wars logo, which you can find on the internet. Be sure to find a high resolution image. We'll add that to the project. We need to add effects to make the logo go from very large to very small. To go from very large, to normal size, we'll use the crop pan zoom effect. The zoom effect will go for about half of the display time, or 2.5 seconds. The area needs to vary, so switch all settings to variable. Adjust the settings. To go from normal size to very small, we'll use the size effect. The size effect will go from about halfway to the end. The size must vary, so switch the settings to variable. Adjust the settings at the beginning and the end. We'll add a short fade out at the end so that the image doesn't disappear suddenly. Next we need to add all the text. Add another text caption. Copy and paste the title text, which will be centered later. Add another row. Copy and paste the rest of the text. Select all text and adjust the color. Adjust the size and the font. Set a longer display time. Reduce the resolution width to make it narrower. Set scrolling to up. Center the row containing the title. Adjust the text sizes. OK. Now we need to use effects to make the text scroll on an angle. We'll use the perspective effect. Adjust the time bar so we can see the text. Adjust the perspective settings. We'll fine tune them by entering values directly. To make the text smoothly fade out at the top, we'll add a rectangle with a gradient. The top of the rectangle will be solid black. The bottom will be completely transparent. Use a vertical gradient and no border. We'll do the same thing at the bottom of the screen. In this case the top is completely transparent and the bottom is solid black. Okay. 
When we play the project, notice that the logo disappears before the text appears. Let's create a new track to overlap the video. We'll overlap the text at about half the length of the logo. So now the logo and text appear at the same time. But with the text in the lower track, we can see that the gradient rectangles we added affect the logo. To fix that, we'll rearrange the track so that the logo is drawn last, on top of the text section. Finally we'll add one more track and add the music. We can zoom in with the mouse wheel to make it easier to align the section. The music starts at around the same time the logo appears. Preview the final project and meld to a video file. This is how the final video looks.